Hello to all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Tonight, I would like to say that you are loved by God just the way you are. People around you may see you as outside or not worthy. But always remember, my friend, that no matter how people around you identify you based on how you look, Always remember that God identifies you, His daughter, and it will never change. If even you turn your back to God many times in your life, His love for you, your identity in Him as His daughter or son will never change. And this evening, I would like to share to you the um, story of Elijah at Mount Carmel wherein dito po nakikita kung sino po talaga ang Panginoon. So, let us read from the book of 1 Kings, chapter 18. But before that, let us ask the Holy Spirit to help us understand His Word. I'll just have a silent prayer. Amen. So, let us read. From the book of um, 1 Kings, chapter 18, verse 36 and 37. Here we can see the prayer of Elijah. It reads, At the time of sacrifice, the prophet Elijah stepped forward and prayed, Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known today that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant and have done all these things at your command. Answer me, Lord, answer me, so this people will know that you, Lord, are God and the on that you are turning their hearts back again. Why did Elijah pray this prayer? And that you are ter turning their hearts back again. Because Israelites at this moment are turning their backs from the Lord and worshipping Baal. But here, Elijah wants to show them that Baal is not the God that they should serve. And here, it will show us the real God, the only true God that we should worship. And as we continue to read, Then the fire of the Lord fell and burned up the sacrifice, the wood, the stones, and the soil, and also licked up the water in the trench. Kung, if you look back from the previous passage, Elijah told those people to pour out water on the trench. To pour out water. And then until it's everything is wet already. And Elijah really want the people to do it. For the people to know that it is really impossible to him to lift that wood. Only God can do that. Amen, mga kapatid. And then as you continue reading, When all people saw this, they fell prostrate and cried, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. You know, friends, sometimes in life, um, without, without in God's power, we have so we have so little faith. And here we can see the faith of Elijah. He stood up because he know he knows that God is a true God, and God is a powerful God, and there is nothing above him, nothing above him, not they are, not anyone else, but he is the only true God, who is powerful enough. To do impossible things my reflection here is that um when we only have that faith in god nothing is impossible